And now for some trusty examples to help us through the web work. Let's take a look at this problem. So they might give you a problem like this and just say, find the intervals where x is concave up and where it's concave down. And you might say, well, how can I do something like that? Should I plot this thing in my calculator and just look at the, you know, the tippy up and the tippy down? Where does it hold water, pour it off? And no, actually what we want to be thinking about here is much more analytical. We want to think about f double prime. So we'll start by finding f prime of x and we'll get negative 3x squared plus 4x minus 4 and then we'll find f double prime of x and here we'll have negative 6x plus 4. So to find where f is concave up and concave down we need to find where this equation here is positive and negative. And so to do that we're going to do kind of a technique that we've been seeing a lot of is we'll have this number line and we want to find all the points where f double prime is equal to zero. That's the first thing we want to start off with. So we'll say zero is equal to negative 6x plus 4, and we'll know that x is equal to uh, 2 thirds in this case. Um, if you move the negative, if you move the 4 over there and divide by negative 6, you'll get 2 thirds. So there's one spot where it's equal, where it is equal to zero at 2 thirds. And then all we need to do is in all the intervals in between our zeros we say well if I plug in a point in one of these intervals is f double prime positive or is it negative and that'll tell me if it's concave up or concave down so let's let's plug in a point over here now one is a point that's to the right of two-thirds so I'll try negative six times one plus four and you get negative two so that tells us everything over here is negative for f double prime if I want to check something to the left of two-thirds maybe I check zero so negative six times 0 plus 4 is positive 4 and that tells us everything over here is positive. So if we're trying to find the intervals that this thing is concave up, well it's concave up from, I'm sorry let me write this a little bit further down so it makes sense where it came from. So now we know that it's concave up on the interval from negative infinity all the way up to two-thirds, right? It's positive everywhere over here. That's what I figured out by checking one point that was to the left of two-thirds. And then I know that it's concave down everywhere from two-thirds to infinity. Again, that's what I figured out by plugging in one. 